Paul Lima, MS Warrior here. If you've seen some of my previous video blogs, you might be saying, you're not in your pajamas, you're not in your bathrobe, you must be feeling better. And if you saw my last blog post in which I, video blog post in which I said, I wasn't going to do any more video blogs unless I had something positive to say, here we are. MS Warrior singing got me writing again. This is me saying something that I think is a little more positive than my last few video blogs. Paul Digby is a fellow MS Warrior. He was a composer and piano player until MS took away his ability to play the piano. So what did he do? He was not a singer, but he started to sing. I mean, really sing. You can hear him singing here. Look for the YouTube URL below. I particularly like his song at last, but do listen to any of them or all of them, all of his songs. He downloads the instrumental tracks and puts his deep mellifluous voice to them. Hey, I can write that. Have difficulty saying it. I love his singing, not just because of his fantastic voice. I love his singing because the first song I listened to, which was At Last, made me cry. Not because it's a sad song, but because I had become a sad case. But first let me tell you that Paul did not become a wonderful singer overnight. Again, he's an MS warrior, and as he says, when I started to sing, my wife could barely hear me singing across the room. I was seriously quiet and timid sounding. Not only did I learn a new skill, I strengthened my lungs and upper body and diaphragm, which was constantly hit with MS. I was simply slaying dragons, the fear of being heard, and mending my body at the same time. Now? Now one could hear me on stage with no microphone and a large noisy audience. I'm not sure if this is a good thing, but damn, I can be loud. Took years of solid work and practice. Loud and good, I must say about Paul. So it didn't happen overnight for him though. He had to persist. He had to lose something, the ability to play the piano and gain something, the ability to sing. But again, he really had to work to become the singer he is. Now, I have been a writer and trainer pretty much all my life. I was a freelance journalist for 12 years, became a corporate writer trainer. I have written 25 books. Look at the link below if you're interested in reading about my books. And the fact is, I did much of it with multiple sclerosis. I've had that for 22 years. You could say I had the best kind of MS, not that there is a good kind of MS. I had what's called relapsing remitting or RRMS. My relapses were often mild, irritating but mild, and they didn't keep me from working. My remissions often lasted a decent length of time before my next relapse. I was able to write and train through all of it. Six years ago, however, things took a turn for the worse. My legs weakened and my balance went off. I can still walk with the help of a cane. I walk my dog once or twice a day. But worse than that, I developed what is known as a new, new daily persistent headache. Imagine, if you will, having a headache, a painful one of that, that won't go away, ever. That's what I have. Daily, it's a 5 out of 10. Often goes up to 6, 7, or 8 in the evenings. In short, it freaking hurts. Over 6 years, 24-7, no relief. Nothing, nada, constant headache. And hey, initially, I was able to write with it or through it. Not for, not for clients, that became too, too stressful, given my failing physical conditions. But I was able to write for myself. In fact, I wrote two novels, Chronic and Jerry, 
and look at the link below if you want to read about them. I even started a third novel, Family Tree. However, as my physical condition persistent, persisted and worsened, I became discouraged and depressed. I'm being honest with you, really freaking depressed. My ability to, my ability to write something I have been doing all my life disappeared. The family tree file sat untouched on my computer for six months, for six months as I spiral, spiraled downward. Now, if you met me, you wouldn't know, not really. I'd complain a bit about my MS condition and then move on. I'd converse with you about the weather or politics, laugh at your jokes and chat away amiably. But on my own, I was a cartoon character with a rain cloud over my head. If you want to know how rainy it was, listen to my last few MS video blogs. See the uh, video link below. And then, then I met Paul. He listened to one of my video blogs and as, as he reminds me, I asked for help in it. I spoke of wishing to hear how other people coped with all this stuff those of us with MS go through. He says it was a very heartfelt and polite request to the world and it enabled me to be able to contact you. In other words, if I had not asked for help, we might not have met and I'd most likely still be in a funk. Ask for help. Again, as Paul says, I think that is extremely important. Too many people just give in and give up because they don't know how to ask others or the universe to help them. You made it so easy for me to contact you. He connected with me and I got to discover the man who did a U-turn when he could no longer play the piano. I met a man who started to sing, developed his voice and put his singing on YouTube. And I cried. Why? I cried because my brain still works. I cried because my fingers still work. I cried because the only reason I was no longer writing was because there was no reason for me not to write. Not one freaking reason. Paul physically could no longer play the piano. He learned how to sing. He taught him how, himself how to sing. Sure, I was depressed. I was down about my MS. I was hurting. But if I put my fingers on my keyboard and type through it all, guess what? Words appeared on the page. I discovered or rediscovered that it was that simple. I am now 12 chapters into my 30 chapter family tree novel. All 30 chapters have been outlined. It's all over but the writing and I'm writing again. The goal here is not to sell 10,000 or 1,000 or 100 or even 10 books. The goal here is to finish my novel because I am a writer and I want to write. Or let me rephrase that. Because I am a writer and I am writing. Who are you? What do you want to do? What will it take to do it? What barriers are in your way? Can you knock them over? Can you go around them? Can you go through them? Do you need to make a U-turn and head off in a different direction? One that is in its own way just as fulfilling. I can't answer those questions for you. I can say that you may want to ask them of yourself. After all, what's the alternative? Sit on your butt and stare into space? Trust me, I did that for like six months. It is no freaking fun. With that in mind, allow me to say thank you, Paul. Thank you. I'm sorry that you're no longer able to play the piano, at least right now, but I'm happy you found your voice and inspired me to rediscover mine. I, I just want to add a final point. Hearing Paul sing and knowing why he started to sing pulled me out of a deep funk. I still hurt physically, but now I'm doing all I can do to remain more mentally stable. I was able to come back without the help of a therapist or meds. 
if you're in a funk and you can't get out of it, please know that I am not saying it's easy. It is not easy. I am saying it's worth digging deep to get out of it. If you can't dig deep enough to do that, consider talking to somebody who can help you. It is so worth coming out the other side, no matter how you hurt physically. It is so worth it. At least that is what I discovered. And yes, I know that some of you with MS doing anything, even moving, can be difficult, if not impossible. You have my deepest sympathy. I hope you can find some peace with your condition. And as difficult as it is, I hope you can find some fulfillment. I hope you can find some way of doing something. And honest to God, if you need help digging down deep to be able to do that, seek help. Do take care. Be as well as you can be. Thank you for watching this. Bye now.